Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like every time I've tried to start this video, I have been interrupted. <laughs> so here's like fourth time's a charm. Um, I am sitting down to get ready for the day, but I have some fun new products to play with. I have five new products from the Honest Beauty line. I've never tried anything from Honest Beauty before, so I was really excited when I went into Walgreens um, the other day to grab something for my grandparents, and I saw this like end cap display, and I just I couldn't resist myself. So I have. It's interesting. So I have the Clean Corrector CC Tinted Moisturizer with Vitamin C in the shade Fair, and it has blue light defense in it. It's all very clean makeup, I've realized. And then I have the um, Everything Cream Foundation. So I thought this was so I thought this was the cream foundation, and I thought that this CC corrector meant it was a um, like a CC, like a corrector, like for under your eyes. Like I, I thought when I looked at this package, it was a concealer and I was really, woohoo, cream foundation, concealer, powder, a cream blush, eyeshadow palette. We're good to go, you know, but I was wrong. This is the, I think this is the um, cream foundation and this is the, tinted moisturizer so you you would use this all over your face and this under your eyes correct me if I'm wrong Jessica Jessica Alba I love you if I'm wrong if I am if I'm using these incorrectly and I was only supposed to pick one of these then please tell me down below but I have no idea so we're just gonna do it so I have that and then I have the midnight reflection um luminizing glow powder I love the packaging. It's basic, but it's like sleek basic. Oh, and there's a button. I didn't realize that. There's a button here. It's very subtle and it's, it just gives this hint of like deliciousness. Would you use that all over the face? I'm so confused by these products. Okay. So they're saying to use this as if it was a highlighter. I feel like this is not a highlighter. It feels very not like a highlighter to me. But we'll see. And then this one is the cream blush. Or peach, sorry. <laughs> Beautiful! Okay, you can go out. So there's the cream blush. I don't use cream products very often. Ooh, but that's pretty. Look at the mirrors in these. I just realized that. <gasps> wow, those mirrors are good, nice mirrors. That's an intense blush, but it's very pretty. Okay, and then the last product is this eyeshadow palette. And with this eyeshadow palette, I'm not going to test any of the shades before I use it. I just, I'm really curious to just use a brush in it. I don't want to, I don't want to swatch anything. Oh, cute. In a minute eye, the smudge cat eye, classy smoky eye, and disco night's eye. Share your honest look. Hashtag honest beauty. Clean beauty amplified. So here's the eyeshadow palette. And again, nice mirror. And oh, those are beautiful. Look at that purple right there. I don't want to swatch it. Okay, <clears throat> those are pretty. So let's do this. Um, I'm gonna go in with the Ciate London Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. 
it's a really good um just like a baseline primer that I kind of use for everything. I really like it when I'm testing new stuff because I know how this like wears on my skin. It's almost like putting nothing on my skin, but it makes my makeup feel look hydrated and it doesn't like ruin the finish at all. I like this one a lot. And makeup doesn't I say makeup doesn't peel up on it and watch. This is totally going to like reject this primer, I bet. Because that's just how my life goes. <laughs> no, but no, it's fine. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the cream foundation and a brush. Um, and I'm going to use it as my, as my under the eyes. The last time I had a, a um, cream foundation, like a panned cream foundation, I remember I was in middle school and it was from Maybelline and it was long and it had the square triangle down here and I used to like wipe it on my face and then just leave it because I thought that was how you use that shit. No blending needed. Let's just make a whole mask and cover it. And then I was like, wow, that looks really bad. And I stopped doing that. So right off the bat, this does not have a lot of coverage. Um, it is pretty sticky on the skin, like tacky. It's not my favorite because I can like feel where it is, if that makes sense. It's very thick. It's a thick product. Well, I guess it has to be thick to be in a pan, huh? But it's not bad. I mean, it conceals enough to where like, hmm, is that natural? But I think that's her thing. Like, I think that she wants it to be like a no makeup makeup look. So I think that's what we're going for today. I don't know. <sighs> but this is the tinted moisturizer. Oh, and this was in the shade linen. And this is in the shade fair. Okay. It's very, it leans. I I can't tell if it's leaning pink or orange, but it's not my perfect shade. It, it works, but it's not my perfect. Especially with such a low cut shirt. It's okay though. Oh, it's got this nice little peel on it. Must peel it. Because I know you all like this. It's my favorite thing, and I know you love it too. So satisfying. Okay. So now I'm going to use a stipple brush. And this coral peach. Again, it's very natural. But it didn't it it's so nice. This is not on my phone. Um Okay, I am gonna set under my eyes. And this 
to my face really quick. They did have a face powder, but I thought that it was like a loose powder or this like illuminizing face powder. And I thought it was an all over the face face powder. It's not, it's a highlighter. Um, it doesn't seem very highlighty to me, but if it ends up being all over my face, then we'll pick a different highlighter to use. <laughs> So I don't really want to go in with a different bronzer. So I am going to use this um, like kind of cocoa-y shade right here to see if I can use this for a bronzer. Yeah, it's essentially the same uh, thing, right? So that wasn't bad for a highlighter. I mean, for a um, bronzer, I just, I just used this like cocoa shade that is right here and okay so now for this moonlight reflector I kind of want to just see you know on the tip of my nose because it doesn't look like this isn't anything did I put anything on my face okay you know what I am going to go in with a big fluffy brush and I'm going to use this just to sweep across my face. Because I like that all over my face. It made a very nice glow to my skin, but it is not a highlighter. Not a highlighter. Face powder. I would call this a face powder. A baked face powder. The, the blush was nice. Huh? Okay. For the exciting part. The eyeshadow. Dun, dun, dun. Sorry. I've been watching too much face age lately. I am going to go in with this. Vanilla Velvet, right here, it's called. Shades names are on the back. Okay, and now, Clean this brush off. So it looks like that there's um, a couple choices for transition here. I'm going to go in with the more mauve one. I used the other one on my face, so it does blend nicely. confused by these textures I had to I had to swatch them so I'm just gonna swatch them right here it's very very odd the color choices I guess I'm just I'm not understanding What, what to put on my lid? 
I mean, I guess. I guess I would choose that one. What? Sure. Okay. So there's the palette swatched. I have this color all over my lid and I actually have this color um, on my no, I'm sorry. I have this color on my face as my bronzer. Um, it's a very interesting color story we have. I just, I don't, I wish that this one was more purple. I was assuming, oh, uh, we also have a black and a white. I mean, but they're not that great. <laughs> Uh, I like this color. I like this color a lot and I'm going to put this color all over my lid. This color I'm intrigued about, but I feel like it's going to have a lot of fallout just because it seems very chunky, but maybe if we wet the brush or something, it'll create like a foiled look. Um, that's going to have to be a look for another day, but I'm sad that that purple shade is not purple. It's basically black and the black is gray. Like, this is the purple, that purple, like, swatch. That's not purple. Nope. I said I wasn't going to swatch them, and then I broke down and I swatched them. Okay, well, I'm going to go in with that pink shade that was next to the mauve that I used, and I'm just going to apply it all over the lid and call it a simple makeup look. I mean, it's not awful. It's very pretty. It's a very subtle. It's a very cute. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm ready to go pick up the kids from school. No makeup makeup look, I guess. Yeah. Like, it's the, did she wake up like that look? Hello, beautiful pumpkin. I am going to use my um, Duchess liner from Milani. Hey, pumpkin. What are you looking for? What about it? You trying to tell me something? What are you trying to tell me? I actually have bristles from that eyeshadow brush on my face. That's not cool. So not having an actual highlighter on is bothering me. So I am gonna go in with my glazed donut from Ofra and Nikki. That is what an, uh, okay, that is what a highlighter is supposed to do. The other thing was like an illuminizing face powder at best. Bam, that's a highlighter. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you. You nailed it. But I wouldn't say that this is bad. As a first impression of Honest Beauty, I would not say that this is awful or bad in ed by any means. Um, I want something on my lips. This is the Lemonade Lipstick from Dominique Cosmetics. And it smells like vanilla and cupcakes. And it really confused me. I was expecting to have like a lemony scent. Nope. Straight up vanilla cupcake candle. But, okay. First impressions of the Honest Beauty line. I, I liked this under the eyes. The, um, 
This is the cream foundation. I don't think that I would use this all over my face as an actual foundation. I used it as a color corrector under my eyes and it worked perfectly. I really liked the size of the pan um, and how it evened out my under eyes really nicely without um, adding too much coverage. They don't look crazy or gross or anything like that, which is nice. I like that a lot. The, where'd you go? Where did you go? I just had you. I was just using you. Where are you? There you are. The um, Honest Beauty Clean Corrective with Vitamin C. The Tinted Moisturizer. There we go. The Tinted Moisturizer. I have the shade Fair. Um, I feel like the shade is not light enough to be called Fair, but it is an okay match for my skin tone. Um, and I do like the amount of coverage it gives me. It was like light medium coverage and it feels good on the skin. I hope it doesn't break me out. There is sunscreen and blue light defense in this. So make sure you are checking those ingredients if you are sensitive to like zinc oxides and titanium dioxide. So just a note on that one. Um, and then what was the, the other thing? Two more things, three more things. The first impression of this blush, I really like this blush. I don't like cream blushes very much and I liked this one. So that says something. Um, I wanna try it out more. I'm intrigued. I didn't hate it, so that's good. This, this is supposed to be, this is supposed to be a highlighter, a baked highlighter. This is not a baked highlighter. This is a aluminizing all over face powder. That's what I would call this because I don't think that that is enough of a shine to call it a face powder, I mean a highlighter. This highlighter that you see on my face right now is the glazed donut. And then last but not least, this eyeshadow palette. I like it. I like this eyeshadow palette a lot. I feel like it's a good eyeshadow palette if you are a beginner. It does confuse me a bit though. Um, because the shades are not what they are at first glance. You would assume some of these shades to be sparkly or shimmery, but they're, they're very soft shades. Which is nice if you're a beginner and you're looking for that no makeup makeup look, Jessica. She nailed it on that one. She did nail that no makeup makeup look because this is really like simple. It's very mom. I feel like a mom today. I mean, I am a mom. Yeah, so that was my first impressions of the Honest Beauty line um, that I saw at Walgreens the other day. I... It wasn't my favorite stuff that I ever used, but it wasn't horrible. And I'm, I did really like the um, tinted moisturizer and the face powder. So I will update you and I'm gonna keep trying them because first impressions never go. They never, they, they, they can go one way or the other, you know? You only use the products once. I could change my mind. I'm a change reminder, okay? I like to change my mind sometimes a lot. You can ask my husband. When I when we first started dating, he asked me out and I think I changed my mind on him like four times. And finally I was like, you know what? I'm a girl and I'm allowed to change my mind. Will you go to the movies with me? And then I turned and I ended up asking him out. But like, that's besides the point. I, I, I am very indecisive. So we'll see if I actually like these at the end of the day or um, come tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. Bye.